Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Dejanae Marie and in this video I will be showing you my tips and tricks on how to stay organized with your online classes and stay tuned for a hack on how to save money on your college textbooks. So the very first thing I wanted to show you was what I use to stay organized. So I have my laptop over to the left and my desktop and iPad that I use all for school. The way I'm going to organize this video is to show you how I use each device for my college classes. Starting with my desktop, I like to organize with semesters and I, for my spring semester, I organize each class by folders as well and I just put the titles of each classes throughout there. Within each folder, I have the PDF version of the book and my syllabus for each class. Having the syllabus on your computer, desktop, iPad, whatever, will help you stay organized. Um, it shows you every single week and which assignment is going to be due that week, so I highly recommend at least just having your assignments all downloaded to your computer so you know what is due and when it's due. Another tip that I would like to mention is that having an electronic version of your book is probably key. You're able to type and search within the entire book. You can highlight, you can copy and paste into your notes sections by sections that you need. And I personally prefer electronic copies over physical copies of books. So the way that my classes are set up, they're run through Canvas. And in Canvas, I have different dashboards of all my classes. And I'll just show you this philosophy class that I'm in. The home screen just explains the class and everything. Then the modules is where you'll find every single thing that you need. I absolutely love online classes because I feel like they're more organized than the in-person classes. Okay, I'm going to slow this section down. Basically right here is the modules and it shows week one, week two, week three, and it's basically the exact copy of your assignments list and your syllabus. I like the way this professor organized the class. At the very beginning of the module, it highlights the entire section that we're going to be doing um, throughout the week. Um, it shows what we have to read and what assignments are due and what videos that we need to watch and also has the powerpoints all within that first section of the module i just love the way that this one is organized and that's the main reason why i chose to do many online classes is because i personally just feel like it's more organized and i can see exactly word for word what i'm supposed to be doing for the entire week in this clip i wanted to show you exactly how um, the way I'm doing my homework functions. So to my left, you can see that I have the PDF version of my book. Um, on my desktop, you can see that I have the video and the PowerPoint um, on the screen there. And then to the right, I'm using my iPad to take notes. I'll get more into the details of my iPad in just a second, but I wanted to sh show basically that having these three devices makes it easier for me to organize my classes. Of course, I do not need a desktop. If I'm going to be honest, I rarely, 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 rarely use my desktop throughout the semester. Um, I mainly use my laptop and my iPad and those are the main functions that I like to use to do my assignments, watch my homework, and turn like type and everything. I use my laptop and desktop the exact same, so I'm not going to go into detail on how my desktop is organized just because I didn't do much organization this semester because I realized I'm not using it as much. If I'm going to be honest, I could do all 
the things I need to do for my online classes within my iPad. I can get on Safari, I can get on the internet, I can download Canvas, I have Word downloaded, PowerPoints downloaded, um, I have GoodNotes is the app that I use to write down all my notes, and you can split screen, and you can really multitask on the iPad. So speaking of the iPad, I'm going to pull up a screen where I'm showing you how I am writing at the very moment so you can get it more detail. To take notes I use the Good Notes. I think it's Good Notes 5. I should have looked this up before I started recording but I have come to like this app. There's a lot of different functions that Notability, the app that I used to use in high school, does not have. For example, um, it has stickers, it has a zoom in window, you can do a lasso tool, there's different colors that you can choose from. You can even do like, um, like hexadecimal, I'm pretty sure you can like type in whatever color that you want. Um, I like that you can separate them out throughout notebooks, you can import photos, you can import PDFs throughout GoodNotes 5. Um, notability. There are things that I like more about Notability, like the layout. For example, if you see the zoom in window, it has like a undo button on the zoom in window, but I would actually have to go up to the top. It's just like more of mobility and how quick like you're writing your notes. So Notability, I feel like it might be a little bit quicker just to move your hand like a centimeter up to go undo something. And it may not be that much more time, but then you have to reach up to the very top um, to undo something in GoodNotes 5. Another thing that I like about GoodNotes is that you see that blue window that just popped up? You can start writing inside that window and it automatically scoots the page over without you having to slide. That's something that Notability does not have. The difference in cost I think is about like $5. You're paying more for GoodNotes just because there's more uh, tools that are within this app. And with Nobility, it's like five or seven dollars. Um, you have the basics. You're, it's just a notebook that you can take your notes on and you can add photos, take pictures, record lectures. Um, so it's just really depending on your budget, on what you're wanting to use. But to me, I decided to download Good Notes because that's what I've seen a lot of other people are using. Another thing you might notice, I am not one of those fancy people with GoodNotes 5. Um, I really would like to be where you can do like calligraphy, do boxes, do like flags and everything. I just don't know how to do it efficient enough, you know what I mean? So I am in some in-person classes and I just don't think there's enough time for me to make my notes beautiful sure I can go back and redo them but I'm also kind of lazy so me I am just basic I use the black pen and then I just use a highlight color it can be pink blue whatever but I'm not doing calligraphy I'm not adding fancy text to my notes I just write down what I see in the PowerPoint onto my page Moving on to the organization of GoodNotes 5, it's basically similar where I have each semester divided up and then I have folders where I can hold my notebook, my PDF of my syllabus, and I can even have the textbook downloaded within GoodNotes 5 and I can highlight it through there. But I also like to download it to iBooks where I can just read through like it's a normal ebook. To add a new notebook, you basically add the plus button and you can choose within a variant of different page styles. There's white, cream, and black. And there's several different templates that you can use like Cornell. Cornell is something that I've been trying to implement into my notes this semester and I'm really enjoying the style of it. Also in GoodNotes, you can create your own cover photo for each of your notebooks, but I like to choose from the ones that are already inside of the app. Moving on to the hack that everyone has been waiting for is how to save money on your college textbooks. Each semester, you are going to get a list of textbooks that you will need to succeed in the course. I recommend getting your books 
and the reason why is just because you'll have the knowledge that sometimes your professor may not give to you during lecture. So before you pay for your college textbooks through the college bookstore, I recommend going through Amazon.com, ConnectBooks.com, um, Library Genesis or Z Library and find those textbooks from zero dollars or 50% off of their college bookstore. So I'm going through each website at the moment. This one is Connect Books. I found, look at this right now. So if you're comparing from Amazon and this, this would be the cheapest one. If you also look at Amazon, you saw that the original price was $83. Amazon is selling you that book for $16. So go through each website I just listed. I'll put them down below and also on the screen here. Go through Amazon, Connect Books, Library Genesis, and Z Library before you buy from your campus bookstore because they will give you the full price at your campus bookstore when you can be downloading the ebook for free. So that is a college hack. I only spent $73 this semester on my textbooks when last semester I only spent 25. So I am saving a lot of money each semester instead of paying over hundreds and hundreds of dollars, I'm paying zero dollars for some of my books. So I'm just trying to plug you guys because there's no reason to be spending this much money if you can be getting it for free. I want to go step by step on each website on how I search for my books with the list of books that you're going to get you're going to get the title and a sequence of numbers and it's the isbn so you can either type in the title or that number and pull up the book so in this example i am not pulling up the right book but it's like i said it's just an example always rent your textbooks do not buy them unless you are willing to sell them to like other students me i'm nervous shy i don't I don't care for shipping out stuff. I don't even like returning things if something doesn't fit. So I always like to rent them because I can get them in the mail and then I can just put them back in the mail. So that's Amazon. Connect Books is the same thing as Amazon. You type in the title or the ISBN and it pulls up the book that you will need for your class. You just type it in, you can download it and rent it. This has saved me a lot of money and it's cheaper than Amazon as well so I suggest having five tabs open and you compare each price and look at that ten dollars granted this isn't the same textbook but I'm just showing you ten dollars for a book instead of paying eighty three dollars so I'm scrolling through and you'll see that it's sixteen dollars but it's a few cents cheaper than Amazon, so of course, save that money. Library Genesis is literally the plug. You can get some of your books for free, and I can't even tell you how many books I found on here. I'm not saying every single book in the world is on here, but for example, the one that we've been using, you may ask, it is, and I got that textbook for free. So you just click on the cover photo, then at the very top, you can hit get and it will download to your device automatically. Z Library is the sister of Library Genesis, I'm pretty sure. And it has the exact same process. All you do is type in the title or the ISBN and you search it. You click the one that you want and then there is a download button for you to download it to your device. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you would like any more videos going more in depth on GoodNotes, how I organize my computer or my iPad. Just let me know what videos you would like to see and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!